KCCI was in the courtroom Thursday afternoon as Robert Miller was led inside to learn his fate. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of vehicular homicide by operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. So Miller was quickly handcuffed and sat back down to hear four more guilty verdicts. All unanimous. I spoke with a jury member who says they were all open minded. Cicely Cooney said prosecutors presented a strong and solid case, convincing her that Miller was intoxicated and racing another vehicle at more than 100 miles an hour when he lost control of his car and caused the deadly crash along Fleur Drive last December. Just look at the evidence. That was very clear. We actually watched the video footage in the bar um, as far as him being intoxicated and seeing the numbers that he blew five hours after. Cooney says it's time to exhale because as a mother herself, some of the evidence presented was difficult to process. Extremely tragic. I actually um, was bawling. It was so hard to see this little boy's body. Cooney feels she and the rest of the jury did their jobs, letting the evidence dictate the verdicts. She says the experience will stay with her for quite some time. Myself, I will probably get some counseling done, um, just how tragic the pictures were for me and how damaging they were for me. Marcos Fogada's family did not want to comment today. We briefly spoke with them outside the courtroom. Miller's sentencing is set for July 14th. Stacy.